Hey everybody and welcome back to Collins Crazy Creatures. I am super excited to be here at the NARBC or North American Reptiles Breeders Conference in Tinley Park, Illinois. And it is a huge show and it's going to be breeders only. So there's going to be no wild cross stuff, there's going to be more crazy, but it's going to be better quality stuff. And I'm going to meet new friends, maybe see old friends, and pick the craziest creatures of the show. This is a Crestua gecko. They are a hybrid combination of crescent geckos and tahua geckos, and I really like this one's red coloration. And they're both from New Caledonia. And because of that reason, those reasons, the Crestua gecko is one of the craziest lizards at the show. I met. I met Catalia. Hi, and your name's Colin. Yes. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. And so your channel is Colin's Crazy Creatures, right? Yes. You guys should subscribe. I love supporting new channels, and I think, or no, no, you said you've had your channel for a while already. Yeah, three I'm years. Subscribe, definitely. You make videos about all my pets Gekko, and then other things like reptile shows. Oh, you're making a video of the show. Yeah. Is that what this is gonna be in? Yes. <laughs> Cool. It's gonna be out next. It's gonna be out on Saturday at 8 a.m. Oh. Eastern time. I need to have a schedule like that, man. I'm just like a uh, Saturday sometimes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll go watch it. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Serapinensis clown frogs from. This is a Siamese crocodile, and it was hatched in the Dragonwood Conservancy headquarters down in Florida, and they will take donations on their Facebook page. And this species of crocodile is critically endangered, and in the 1970s it was actually thought to be extinct, but there was a small population in Cambodia's mountains that they found taking it off the endangered species list and making it critically endangered. And because it's a critically endangered crocodile, the Siamese crocodile is one of the craziest other creatures of the show. This is a cow reticulated python. It is 
very unique because all cal carp, um, not carp pythons, articulated pythons have their own unique pattern. And the, pixelate, and the pixelated scales that you see is it developing its spots. Because when they hatch, they are pure white. And because it is a very unique snake, the cow reticulated python is one of the craziest snakes at the show. This is a Vietnamese giant centipede. It is nowhere near fully grown. And the reason I am not holding it is because it is highly dangerous. It has a very painful, venomous bite. And it's just terrifying. And in the wild, they go into caves and actually will grab bats out of midair. And they also will like to eat banana other than meat. And because of all those reasons, the Vietnamese giant centipede is the craziest invertebrate at the show. This is a super dwarf articulated python. It would technically be a dwarf because it would be from the islands that the dwarfs are from, but it's more a super dwarf DNA in it. And this one is five feet long and will get to about eight feet in range. So it will be in the range of a dwarf or super dwarf. So if you want a reticulated python with, the, with the, all the good perks, if you don't want a 23 plus foot long snake, the super dwarf reticulated python is the way to go. And for those reasons, the super dwarf reticulated python is one of the craziest snakes of the show. This is an Aldabra tortoise. It is the second largest species of tortoise in the world, and they're found in the Seychelles Islands on Aldabra Atoll. And this one is only five years old and still has a lot of growing to do. When this is an adult, it can be over 300 pounds. And because it is the second largest species of tortoise in the world, the Aldabra tortoise is, the craze, is one of the craziest turtles or tortoises in the show.
This is a Mexican alligator lizard. They're from Mexico, obviously, and also Central America. And they are an arboreal species, and they are critically endangered. Because, and they've been discovered for many years, and they are just really cool because they have these cool shingle scales and a triangular head, and they look like an alligator. And for all those reasons, the Mexican alligator lizard is the craziest lizard of the show. This is Dave Kaufman. He's a YouTube personality and he has many YouTube channels. Reptile Adventures, Fishing Adventures, which is brand new, and Animal Adventures. And he has that aging rock star good looks. Aging? And, yeah. Aging? Yes. All right, this video's over. <laughs> and he has a popular catchphrase, rattle on. Rattle on. And for those reasons, Dave Kaufman is absolutely the craziest other creature at the show. Awesome. <laughs> Very cool. These are golden mantellas. They are a very small species of frog from Madagascar, and they are critically endangered, but look very cool. And they have a bright orange color, and because of all those reasons, the golden mantella is one of the craziest amphibians at the show. This is an Erian Jaya carpet python. Everyone knows about the jungle, coastal, or Bradley carpet python, but the Erian Jaya doesn't get much screen time. And there's some controversy about the name because they're not really from the island of Erian Jaya, they're really from Papua New Guinea. So people call them Papuan carpet pythons, but it's also a Papuan python, which can cause a lot of confusion. So we like to refer to them as papayas, a mix between Papuan and Erian Jaya. And because of the great coloration, the papaya carpet python is the craze, one of the craziest snakes of the show. This is a pad-footed salamander. They are from Nicaragua, and they're actually arboreal, and there are three in this enclosure, and you can keep them something pretty basic. Um, the guy who has this keeps them in clay and magnolia leaves, and because they're an arboreal salamander, the pad-footed salamander is the craziest amphibian at the show.
is a Russian sand boa. They're really from Kazakhstan, and when they are, and it's a phase that makes them black. When they're born, they look normal and not black, and it takes a few sheds for them to be declared black, which is about six months or more to be truly black, like this one. And because it's a black snake, and also it has a fun name, the Russian sand boa is the craziest, one of the craziest snakes at the show. This is a Occidentalis chameleon gecko. They are one of the rarer species of chameleon geckos in the pet trade, and this one's fairly large. Like, this is much bigger than my two agricole um, chameleon geckos at home. And since it's super big for chameleon geckos, it's the biggest one I've seen, and it just is very friendly because it's a chameleon gecko. The Occidentalis chameleon gecko is the craziest one of the craziest lizards of the show, I should say. I would like to thank all the vendors who would let me hold their animals, and I'd also like to thank Catalia for appearing in my video and being so sweet, and I'd especially like to thank Dave Kaufman for appearing in my video and being such a good sport.